Hello. Hello, Mr. Mr. Right, how are you today? Yeah, I'm okay, so today we talk about divide and conquer, yeah? This is this concept is not new. Yeah? We have talked about this before, right? Yeah? yeah. Do you still remember what uh, what problems are, uh, have we used this kind of strategy? This is kind of like a, you know, strategy that we solve the problem. Yeah. Remember a few days ago we talked about the Hanoi Tower, yeah? Hanoi Tower, remember? Hanoi Tower. Yeah? We want to move this the the the, a, B, C. the disc from A to C, yeah? So what does it include? The the divide and conquer. So we need to divide this into three steps. First, move the n minus one disc from A to B, right? And then move the last disc n from A to C. And then the third step is moving the n minus one disc from B to C. Okay, let's divide and conquer. So and, and also we talk about the merge sort, remember? Merge sort. Yeah? So given a few numbers, yeah? Given a few numbers. 3, 2, 5, 1, 5, 9, 10. We want to sort sort this. How can we merge it merge sort mm -hmm. it? First of all, we divide. Divide. The, the, to sort it, to sort the numbers in ascending order. First of all, we divide this into half. And we sort these two. Yeah? So look, this is 1, 2, 3, and then this is 5, 9, 10. Yeah? A red line, look, look at me. And then, once we sort the both parts, we merge it. Right? right? Get it? So let's divide uh, divide and conquer. So what does it mean? Can you, from these two uh, two examples, what, what is the meaning, divide and conquer? Uh, it, it's like, I think it's like you divide it, like you get it, yeah. and you, and you... And yeah, you, solve the solve the conquer conquer. What's the conquer mean? Like, uh, uh, get get new stuff. I know. I mean, I, I solve stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mo most likely. Okay. So <laughs> divide and conquer is that every time you know. Uh, so divide and conquer. So usually we use the recursion, right? So we can recursively divide this problem into a few. You know, not just two. Maybe a few sub problems, right? Divide. This is the divide. A big problem, a very big problem. We divide it into more right two or more problems Mommy. and then we recursively solve it solve the each part each small part right yeah. and then what's next once we solve it we use these results from the smaller part to merge right yeah. to get a bigger part right right yeah okay so well, let's let's take an example okay let's take a very example so how, i have a, a way i want to get the maximum of it very simple yeah in in python you can just do this max ar yeah how about i tell, tell you to implement this one way to do what return max ar yeah yeah i know but I, I don't want you to use this function just implement yeah. it define max let's define this max nums okay so that, that will be very easy yeah assuming this nums mm -hmm. is not empty mm -hmm. then we can do what mm -hmm. we can do what? like the answer equals max Infinity, yeah, negative infinity, and then we go through each number, yeah, in nums, and then answer equals what well, max. Okay, so this is not this. Uh, so we are not using the max function. Right? So then we can say if i bigger than answer, then answer equals i, right? And then return i. This is called the linear linear. We, we do this linear, linear times, right? Very simple, yeah? We go through this array, first of all, the answer is negative infinity. We go through the, each number, and then we try to compare the number with the answer. And if it's bigger than answer, we update it with the answer, with the, with the current number, right? The time complexity is O, if there are n numbers in these nums. O, um. O, N. What's the space complexity? Any space? No? Or one constant, okay? Constant space. Okay, so now, look, if we want to find these numbers, okay, let's say 10, 20, like uh, 1, 5, 9. What's the maximum of this array? Anyway, right, look, what's the maximum of this array? 20. 20. We can go through this, yeah? One by one and try to compare with the answer. Yeah, that's a linear. And how about we use the divide conquer? 
first of all, we divide this into half, or we can divide it into three parts, four parts, depending. But let's let's just take a one simple approach. But what if we can't divide it in half? Well done, that's a good question, okay, I'll tell you later. We first of all, if we can divide it into half, okay, so that requires, it needs to be at least two elements, right? So we can divide it in half. If we divide it into half, right, so we request to restore this function. For example, this one, the maximum is 9. This one, maximum is 20. Okay, so now, now we compare how, this. Yeah. How do you get the... So, how so do we get the it's 9 or 20? Yeah. Yeah? Well, then we, we divide this into half, right? Yeah, it may not be equally divided, but we can divide it. And this is one number. That, that's the thing. You can't divide one number into half, right? So we just return this number. Look, 5 and 1 divided into 2. What's the biggest one? 5. Okay, and 5 and 9, which is biggest? 9, yeah? Okay, and 9 this way here, divided into 2. This, this part, 10. This part, 20. 20 and 20. 20. 20 and 9, 20. Okay? Make sense? Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to implement this, and then you need to tell me what advantage of using this approach than this one. Look, this is a very simple one, right? So I can just implement this. Why, why should I care about using this divide and conquer? Just think about the advantage of using this one, okay? So first of all, let, let's implement. Sorry? Much more quicker. quicker, yeah, it could, it's related to quicker. Why is quicker? Uh, why it's quicker? Think about it, okay? You're very close to the answer. You're very close. Define, let's say, let, let, again, this is max, okay? This is max. And numbers, okay? And now we need to uh, have a divide function inside, yeah? Divide, 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 and then what divide? So divide, um, maybe we can, we don't need to lead. Look, look, if length numbers equal, equal one, if it's only one number, we just return it, yeah? Return it, nums zero, okay? Now the middle part, we, we want to separate the middle part, yeah? So middle part equals what? Length nums divided by 2, right? right? And what's the left, left max? Look, left max equals, then we call, because we call this function, yeah? Max nums up to mid, yeah? Up to mid, up to mid. And what's the right max? Can you tell me? Look, so I separate, this is the middle part, yeah? They are total number. If there's only one animal, I return it. Right? Let's, let, we can't continue dividing it. Right? Let, there's got to be somewhere we, we need to terminate that recursion. Mid is length, yeah? the number of elements divided by two. Then max, up to mid, right? up to mid. Right max. Okay, so if it is two, then that two divided by two is one, right? So mid is up to one, so it's the first one. And then right max. Like one divided by two. No, sorry, one divided by two. Nums and then a mid, mid. The, 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 remember this? Yeah? From mid to the end. Up to the mid, not equal, right? So look, that max. I divide it into two halves. This is the maximum part of the left, left part, left array. Right max is the max part, max value of the second half. And I just need to return the maximum of these two, right? Alright? So if left max bigger than right max we we return which one? Huh? Right? Return what? Biggest. If left max bigger than right max, return left max. And otherwise return else or you know we don't need to write the else. But return Does it have to split in half? Good question. We don't. That, like what I said, we can split into three, four, or five, right? Yeah, but yeah. split into half is most easy way to implement, right? All right, got it? Mm -hmm. So return by max, yeah. Make sense? Look, if there's only one element, yeah, we can't separate into half. We return it, right? It's the max of that array, right? If it's a, if there's only if the list is one, what's the max of this? One. One easy. And then meter is the number of elements divided by two, right? That's the meter. Left max, we do cursory. We divide, we divide this problem into two, two halves, right? The first row, 
we're going to get the maximum of that, that part and we're going to get the maximum of the second half right when we close they we call this function maximum and then after this we get these two numbers right and then we need to compare which one is bigger and just return it so like what i said look one two three four uh five six okay now look right into half and then look this into half this into half okay one two into half okay now it's one number one and two which one is bigger two two and three which one is bigger three four and five okay now this is it. four and five we can divide it into half right four and five five is bigger five and six six is bigger okay now three and six six is bigger you see yeah so when we recursively divide this right and then we you keep recursively calling this this until it's only one element and now because it's only one element we already know it's the, the answer then then what we we back you know we start building this recursion from the bottom to the up yeah then going up going up going up going up, yeah, going, up going up this is like a tree make sense so okay so come come back to the question why do we have to use this one what's the advantage of this, this one instead of the you know linear just going through this element one by one to compare it right the linear one we can use it on one computer but this one if there are a million numbers for one computer you need to go to a million times right but if i have two computers i can divide the list into half million half billion right and i can use these two computers to do it at the same time in parallel all right or maybe a, a, a million computer let's say a million computers you know just one extreme cases get, get, uh, make sense yeah if look, let, let's uh, let's don't think about uh, let's don't take uh, you know consider the, the communication cost between these computer let's just imagine you know that these computers can communicate instantly without problems a hundred numbers for a single computer it needs to go through these a hundred numbers let's say I have 10 computers each computer take 10 numbers right am I right it makes sense so they can each computer take 10 numbers 10 computer take, take 10 numbers so each computer can doing this on the same time in parallel you know the parallel parallel what does it mean parallel it means two lines that go the same way and then uh, look look at let me what does it mean so look why this is doing okay so let, let's think about this example okay let's say eric you have a, a, a page of 100 pages you know 100 pages and i don't care if you finish reading it or you and ryan finish it together so how, how long does it take? If if you take you if you only you read the one hundred pages, it may be going to take an hour, right? Suppose it the take, it doesn't take a long time to read hundred. Okay, okay. So I'm just giving an example, right? Ryan, let's say you're personally reading the same speed, and how about if I say okay for the first fifty pages, you Eric, you read it. And then at the same time, Ryan, you can use uh, read the second half, which is from fifty one to hundred. So how long does it take for for this page one hundred pages to do done? Well, no, well, I don't get it. So you, you don't get it, what? Okay. Uh, so you have one book, right? A, a book of maybe. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's put this a uh, hundred chocolates. Yeah, easier a hundred chocolates. Okay, that's a lot 100 chocolates now it okay. take you like an hour to eat one chocolate I mean, uh, uh, a minute to eat one chocolate okay a minute to eat one chocolate my teeth are gonna go. okay okay just just ignore others how long does it take for all the coins all the chocolate coins to be eaten a hundred minutes right a hundred minutes one hour a hundred minutes now ryan you can have gaga, right? So how long does it take? 15 minutes. Yeah, that's what I said. Look, speed up. Yeah, because why? Why is it 15 minutes? 
because you two can eat it at the same time. That's in parallel. But, 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 yeah? but, but why can't you just like eat? Wait, how big are the chocolates? <laughs> how big is chocolate? Okay, very, very big. Maybe this big. <laughs> oh man. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. If it was really small. Yeah, like, yeah, I know. Just example. Okay. I could just eat one. So, so my question, my, my, so here's the thing, okay, there are a hundred numbers and then there are ten computers. They can do this in parallel, right? They can do this in parallel. So the speed up could be ten, ten times faster, am I right? Am I right? Because they can do it in, at the same time. That's the advantage of using the divide and conquer because we can divide this problem into a few sub-problems and they are independent, right? They are independent and can be processed in parallel at the same time. And when we get the result from each part of the sub-problems, then we can merge it, yeah? We can merge it, all right? Like the maximum, uh, getting the maximum, right? Getting the maximum, then we can do what? Uh, we, we can compare, right? The, the maximum of each part, right? Am I right? Are you all right? Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. So let's see, uh, let's divide and conquer. Any other examples? Like, we have talked about what? Merge salt, yeah, merge salt. Do you still remember the merge salt? Uh, 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 yeah, and I'm gonna quickly divide it. Okay, come on, divide merge salt, merge merge salt, <laughs> merge salt. Can you stop, stop that, please? Nums, okay, nums. Look, if there's only one number, if there's only one number, then we return it, right? Return this. Return it, right? Because it, one number, one number is already sorted, right? One number is sorted. Now the middle part, the middle part is what? The middle part is the nums divided by two, okay? And then what's the left and what's the right? Look, left equals, let's say we want to merge sort the, the left part. Left part is nums, area. look at me. Nums up to mid, right? And can you tell me what to write there? Right equals what? Merge sort of what? Merge sort of what? Start from mid to the end, right? Nums. Okay? Yeah? And then what's next? If I have left and right, what's next? If I have left and right, what's next? Can you not touch my computer for the last time, okay? Ow. Left and right. I have left part, I have right part. What, what, what should I do? If you look, one, two, three, how do, you, how, do you, how do we merge one, two, three, and uh, four, five, six to make it? Remember, we merge two sorted this, yeah? We, we need to merge two sorted this. Remember, we talk about this merge sorted this. Then we just merge. This is merge left and right, okay? That's the merge sort, remember? Look, we have sorted this, yeah? One, two, five, one, two, four, and three, four, five. How do we merge this? Look, we, we have two pointers, yeah? Can one and three. It? Yeah, keep moving. One and three, which one is smaller? One. One. And then move it. Two and three, which is smaller? Two. Two, two then I move it. Four and three. Four, three. Yeah, and three, and move this, yeah? Four and four, okay, it doesn't matter. And then move this, yeah? Five, yeah. Okay? Make sense? Yeah. Make sense? Mm. Okay, this is much thought. And then the Hanoi Tower, right? We talked about that. And what else? What else can we do this? What else can we do this? We can, okay, I'm going to talk about another quick problem, okay? Just very quick, very quick. A ruler. You know the ruler? A ruler, okay? Let's say this is zero, this is eight. A ruler is a king. Ruler, you know the ruler. It's a king. No, ruler. We want to do a this. A ruler is a king. No, 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 no. no. Oh, yes, it is. A ruler is for measurement. Measurement, okay, ruler. And then look, we have a. a ruler in the middle, a king. in the middle, and then do this, do this. Yeah, king. Yeah? You want to do this? He is a king. Yeah, something like that. Huh? Oh yeah, ruler, definitely. Yeah, ruler. So you have these different measurements. Okay, so we can have a function like define ruler. Make a ruler. Left. You need. Left, right, and then height. Height is least height, yeah? Height. 
Okay, so first of all, meet the meat. Okay, so the, look, it has to be R minus A, it has to be the power of, uh, you know, so basically, let's make this simple. So it, so basically, you want to have a ruler which can, which can be separated recursively, right? So in order for this to be uh, deposited to this, we, we need to make sure 2 to the power of H equals R minus A, okay? So this is the requirement. Can I have it, please? Okay. Okay, so look, so first of all, the meter one, the meter one equals L plus R divided by two, right? Every right end, meter equals L plus R divided by two. We can do this, yeah, divided by two, okay? Or we can do this, L plus R, 51, okay? That's all the same, okay? <coughs> and now look, if height is bigger than zero, if the height is bigger than zero, then we, we, we do what? What, what we can do? We need to rule, rule uh, make, make the fir the first half, which is which is, which is what air and a meter, but the, the height will be height minus one, right? It will be height minus one, okay? Yeah. What did I say? What did I say? Height minus one. What does this mean? Ruler. You're not listening. Okay, should I repeat again? Yes. I want to ma I want to make um to make the markers of the rulers, right? So I want to get a middle one. Listen, listen, get a middle one. Yeah. And then look, I want to re recursively, recursively, I want to mark the left left side, yeah, the left side, which is this one. And then I want to mark now. I want to mark at at here, here, which is meter, and this is edge. And then I want to mark what? What's missing? What's this part? So what's uh, the parameter? What's the first parameter I want to get? Air to meet, and then now this is what? You really are busy, right? What's this bit? It. Air to meet, the air to meet, and then what's this? Uh, meet to R, right? Meet to R. Called R. Right, okay, and then H minus one, right? Look, this is quite similar to Hanoi tower, right? First of all, there are three steps. We want to we want to complete the marking of the ruler. So what's the step? First of all, we want to mark the center, right? And then the second step, mark the left. The third step, mark the right. Divide and conquer, easy. And when do we keep marking? And when the height is bigger than zero, right? If height is you know if height is always is smaller Where's than zero. The height? Height, look, this is the height. The, how long you want to mark it, right? Because do a rule, you know? If you keep doing that, it'll be smaller, right? Always, it'll be shorter, shorter, shorter the length, yeah? This is controlled by the height, the third parameter. Make sense? It will just be a dot. Yeah, when, when it's uh, zero, so then that's the time we stop marking, okay? So let's uh, divide and conquer, okay? That's the concept, that's the concept. That's a very important co concept of the computer programming. We use the divide and conquer to solve the pro a big problem, right? By dividing it into a smaller problem, and this small problem can be independently solved. So it means that we can parallelize, you know, do the parallelize. parallelize. What's the advantage of get, uh, doing uh, of the parallelization? Parallelize it. What's, why do we need to parallelize it? What's the advantage? One advantage we can get from parallelizing it to make it what? Well, Come on, we, we, bigger. I was talking about the book coins example. So what's the advantage of making it parallel? It'll be quicker. Quicker, yeah, it'll be quicker, yes. The parallelization, because this problem can be done in parallel, okay? Okay, that's it for today. Good job. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.